Are we gonna play now? Ready for the show? I'm about to take down you already. What's up, guys? This is your boy Pro Herder GR3000, and today we have another Shuttle Fight Arena video for you guys. Um, first off, I want to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel. We are at 2,000 subscribers. I thank and love you all. And, um, oh, yeah, I want to shout out two of my good buddies. They are both really amazing Shuttle Fight Arena content creators. Harold's Gamer and Get Set Fight. Go check out their channels, please, guys. Um, they rock. They also have really good skill as well. So, in this first match here, we're going to get started off by using Ironclad. So, we're playing against my boy Kos Koko Su. I guess that's his name. We hit him with that nice Superman punch, lock him down with that Stampede. Get the nice jab, get the grab off. Started that round off with a nice amount of damage. Still doing damage right here, mixing him up in the corner. He does his uh that special move out of the corner. Don't really know the name of it. He does it again, knocks me back. I know he's gonna keep doing it, so I, I dash back the third time and was like, okay, dude, get this work. <laughs> you can't keep doing that that special move man like it does go really far but i can still dash back away from it so you got to be really careful with that and ggs my man ggs and he was also a dojo level nine i've been fighting dojo level nines and higher like i don't understand how the game just started like it just came out and you know there's people that that was already up there as you guys could see at the beginning of the video i was at arena x and uh, that's literally only because I'm fighting like extremely higher rank people than me with more trophies. And that's also a problem. They need to fix the matchmaking in this game too because sometimes like if, if somebody is fighting against a person that has paid money in this game, it's not going to be fun and it's not going to be fair because they're going to have a higher defense and higher attack attributes than you. So yeah. I definitely agree that they need to hurry up and fix the matchmaking. Things are going to get really, can get really bad if they don't. But, you know, with that being said, man, like even after the matchmaking just being so terrible, I was still doing really good, you know, beating these high level players and stuff. Yeah, can't dash back forever, buddy. You see how we just take the Kibo out? Um, he was doing some damage to my Ironclad. Oh, he actually crit right there, but he was doing some damage to my Ironclad. And uh, I kind of picked it up. Here goes another match with Ironclad, the same guy. Right, so... Uh, He's gonna walk down into the corner. I know Fire Guard is playing style, dude. I'm gonna walk you down. I don't care. You're not getting out of the corner, dude. Fire Guard likes to go in the corner and just sit there. Like, I'm not taking that shit, dude. I'm gonna pressure his ass while he's in the corner. And Ironclad is the best person to do it. Trust me, guys. He he is the best person to freaking do it. If you need to um, beat Fire Guard, Ironclad. All day, like, all day, all year, man. He just wants to sit in the corner. You guys see that? He gets that shadow attack off. I mean, uh, like, I'm not really so worried about, you know, him getting his attacks off because I know what the heck he's going to do. Like, come on, dude. You're not going to do that. You see how they just keep walking back into the corner? If you're going to use Fire Guard, at least use his other moves, too. Stop trying to use moves to keep people away. Like, you have other moves for different for different purposes as well. All they do is spam shadow moves and go to the corner. I hate that shit. And right there is why Fire Guard bit the dust. Don't just run to the corner. So, uh, we got his Ling now. And, um, you know, I always start the match by going back. I catch his, uh, his, um, dash towards me. 
Get that nice Superman punch off. Start off the stampede. Ah, look at that. He backed away from those punches. Try to hit with the stampede cancel, but uh, he whiffs his attack, and I still get some damage off right here. Okay, he did not want to open up to that that um flying kick right there. I get punished with that shadow move, and I, I kind of knew he was going to do that shadow move. Right when I freaking missed that that um flying kick, I was like, oh my god, he caught me. <laughs> and right here, guys, I was trying to go in and get the grab. First time it messed up because I went behind him and I wasn't even trying to go behind him. Just trying to dash up and grab. So right here I was trying to get the spacing and he uh, just threw a flask at me. Like, jeez. At this moment in time, I'm like, bro, I didn't even I didn't even know he had that flask. Like I thought he would be using like big flask or something. <laughs> he he chucked a flask at me, y'all. <laughs> what the freak? I should have had persistence on for ironclad maybe i wouldn't have took any damage it is a critical though so i don't really know let me go, let me know what you guys think about that in the, down in the comments so i'll bring my kivo out here he's trying to just you know be ready to duck those projectiles he got away with that back slice and there are some moves that can dodge projectiles in this game it's so cool you know because there are certain movements that we can use to also get away from stuff so i think that's pretty awesome just like ling's back slice he can dodge projectiles with it as you guys just seen before all right so we get that projectile off and right here i'm just uh chucking him down trying to hit him with that freaking sudden trick you see how he just walked out of it like that is insane so I dash away from that shadow move right there. Get the grab out of the corner. Low slice, you know. Jump over that low. He, he dodges both of these shadow attacks. You can't dodge forever, man. You gotta go on the offense. But yeah, we, we've knocked him out with the double base slices and we go to the next round so he's going to be using Kibo right here yep and in my opinion guys Kibo is one of the best characters in this game I that's just my opinion she's one of the best herald I should say she's very fast she she can attack from a very good distance with her shadow onslaught the shadow onslaught does increase damage i don't know man it's just my opinion dude she's very precise with her striking that's what i like about her so he he does his overhead you know waste his shadow onslaught i roll under his projectile go with the nice up slice see he roll under my projectile too did not see that coming See, looks like he's starting to learn. Guess I was too late on that that grab punish, and I went with the rolling wave. See, he just he he knows about sudden trick, guys. <laughs> he's learning, but this is fun though. This is what I like. <laughs> this is what makes the game fun. Yep, and you roll into the thousand cuts, buddy. Yeah. You may know about the sudden trick. But you wasn't ready for the thousand cuts until your own. GG's boy. Thank you very much. And I got my boy Thug Deer. This is a uh a friend play battle, guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this as well. We're playing on equal terms because I don't think that he's high enough level to fight me. So, shout out to you, my man, Thug Deer. I really appreciate you for giving me this, uh, this content. So, let's get down to it. 
So I, I duck him and uh, go with the low attack. He's using Felsher. He's just chucking me with the projectiles as he has really fast projectiles. Just lifting him up with the special move. I'm going to go with that low kick for the um, extra damage. And we go with the shadow move after that projectile. I caught him jumping. So that's me trying to go for that block breaker right here. But never mind, we go for the grab after that. I'm gonna do dodge this projectile. You know, always gotta be ready for that. Going for that nice critical grab. And we're gonna start uh, going back and forth here. The phone was getting ready to die as well, as you guys can see that. He does his up slice. He was not ready for that shadow move, so he got stuck. He did good though. He, we had we had some really spicy games as well, um, family. We had some really spicy games. Okay, so he you no know, spits his flame out. in time to get that shadow move off but we load it back up right here and, and just look we at half health with just the the stuff i've been doing to him his link is basically dead right now he tries to hit me with that shadow move and i jump out of the corner and get smacked right in the face with a um, spinning katana attack and then he hit me with an overhead so he got some damage off right there it's pretty good that was actually really good so i do my jump kick do a back counter right away Go for those base slices, try to chip them out. Got a notification there. Sometimes that is annoying because I can't see my freaking health bar. Like that really gets annoying. Need to turn my notifications off. But second match. This match, guys, he did really good. Honestly, I don't know. I think I, I think I wasn't on my A game this match. But it could just be me not being really good with Fire Guard too, because I don't really like him anyway. I don't like his strategy. I don't like the way he's supposed to be played. Or I don't I don't know if spamming shadow moves is how he's supposed to be played, but if that is, I do not like that fucking fighting style. And I will barely use him. Mainly used him because I wanted to showcase the skin, but nah. He's not good to me for real. He's a fucking spammer. 
So you see me trying to um, catch him with the special attack right here. Go for that grab. Throw the flame on him right there. See, he jumps over that freaking shadow move. He was smart. That was actually really smart. He got some good damage off with that smite too. Gosh, man, I can't catch him whiffing. If he's just going to keep moving backwards. Catches me with that smite. I try to hit him with that shuttle move. And I literally tried to grab right there. It's very strange, but I'll take that loss. GG's, my man. GG's. So we go on to the next round. Um, Going to be using Helga versus Helga now. My boy Thug Deer was playing real good with Helga. So I was ready for his uh his dash right there. He used my projectile, get me some more of that shining shining dash or my shining charge. Go under that projectile and send him into the afterlife. So he's basically trying to pressure me. I dodge behind his uh his dash. Not going to take that damage, especially going into the next round. Nice. Nice spinning attack right there. Roll under that projectile. Get the juicy crit off the um, grab. Got her back hurting. That grab hurt it, girl. Didn't it? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> but yeah, we go to Kibo. Knock this out out the way. So, um, I dash up. I should have committed right there with that base attack, but I get the back kick off as well. Start hitting them with the nice kick combinations. And this is because I don't. I know I don't have a lot of health, and I know Kibo has an afterlife too. But I didn't take into consideration that she didn't have an afterlife only at level one or level three. That's what I should have been thinking about. We're not playing on a. We're not playing with our, our regular talents. We're playing, you know, on equal terms, which means our characters are low level. Which means that his Kibo doesn't have an afterlife. So I could have been just killed him for real. I was just sitting there. Yeah, but I was not thinking right. Either way, he still did really good, man. I'm I'm really I'm really happy about how how good he did. It was a really good match. Catch him um with him right there. Get that nice grab. I only got a little bit of health, so I'm playing it, you know, real smart. Every time he misses an attack, I might pop him. You never know, I may go in for a grab or a dash. Let's look at the options. And I kind of like walk back and forth to try to uh, mix you up or get you to swing at me so I can punish you. See, just like that right there, but uh, I punished on that way too late. Let's get that grab off right there since I was invisible. Uh, I'm glad that Katana didn't chip me out. Uh, I got a chance to pack just a little bit more damage before I get out. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, I packed a little bit more damage and yeah, he got my ass up out of there. So we bring our Kibo in. Helga has did her, uh, she's did her job. She's packed quite a bit of damage on Ling. And coming in here with a um, full health Kibo. Ooh, nice punish on my jump. You see that, guys? That's what I'm talking about. He punished the freaking nudge kick, too. That was nice. My boy said, not today, Pro Herald. I'm ready, my boy. That was what's up. 
Look at him walking back and forth. <laughs> we both just try to find a way to approach each other. This is how I like playing. He dodges that shadow move. And my freaking projectile went right over him when he did that special attack. See, Ling be dodging every all the projectiles, man, with his specials and um, all of his moves. That was a good game, though, man. Had to hit you with that back attack to finish it off. GG's. I really, I really, really did enjoy playing with Thug Deer. Like, seriously. Thug Deer, if you're watching this video, if you want to play me again, I'm all down for that, man. I'm all down for that in the next video if you want. So with that being said, let's get into this next match, guys. This is actually the last match. So I'll be using Ling now. Got to put that, that fire guard up. So we duck under that projectile. I kind of figured he was going to throw one at the beginning of the round. I think every character that has a fast projectile has a possibility of throwing their projectile at the beginning of the round just because of how fast it is. Try to catch people off guard. So he comes in with that, uh, he tries to rolling wave me, but gets punished. Ooh, had he been just a little closer, that jump kick would have got him. Go roll under that projectile, get the nice back grab, low slice. Get a nice chunky amount of damage off right there. And you try to dash in. That may have um, been a grab attempt right there on the, on the first one, I don't know. He was tearing it down with Helga though, look at him. Ooh man, I should have grabbed right there. So roll under the projectile, do the special attack, go at the shadow move, packing some damage there. He sends my Ling packing, you know, into the other side of the screen, just sent them flying. It's alright. I didn't order any airline tickets, but we took that free flight. And he hits me with that heavy overhead. I only got a little bit of health left, guys. Hanging on to a threat there. And we get the win. You see that. He got to start playing way more precise because I'm going to be rolling under projectiles, dash punishing and all that roll punishing. You got to start executing, man. So basically just like try to punish, like try to work on your uh, punishment skills and guarantee, bro, you'll be so much better. Like just working your punishment skills. Like if you see me with an attack, like and you're close enough to hit me, just hit me, man. If I'm if I miss an attack, you have that chance. If you're close enough. This game is like really punished heavy. So you have to like, you know, be ready for a lot of stuff. You got to be ready to punish a lot of stuff. I don't be ready to punish a lot of stuff myself, guys. Like I get my ass handed to me by some people, too. But most times, man, I, I am prepared. So I got my critical ready. You know, just uh, <sighs> waiting for him to uh, enter my zone. And he did. We get that juicy, big critical overhead. GG's, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Are we gonna play now? Ready for the show. I'm about to take down. You already know. Get the fuck out of my face now. Yeah, you gotta go. Man, I'm
I'm on the chase now, leave me on my